Hey guys, happy Saturday. It's been a while, but I have a cute little DIY for you guys. I'm going to be using these Dollar Tree dollhouse wood pieces, and I'm just going to go ahead. You know, these chairs, these pieces aren't the best, but they work out great. You can always take them apart and re-glue them back together. But I'm going to be using this deep brown paint from the Dollar Tree and some white paint to make a gingerbread color. This is what I use all the time. I know some people use, like, I forgot what the other one is, but this works great. Um, I ran out of white puffy paint, so I made my own using shaving cream and this specific white glue from the Dollar Tree because it's really thick. So hopefully it works out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint all of these pieces with that gingerbread color and then... Um, and go from there these are my favorite brushes i got these from the dollar tree but yeah i'm just going to go ahead and i am going to paint all of the pieces with this i'm not going to show you me painting every piece because that's kind of boring <laughs> so i'm just going to show you kind of how i paint this it did really well um i did like one coat and then kind of just touched up a few pieces that I might have missed while I was painting the first time around but it took it really well and it covered it really well and sorry that my camera keeps trying to focus I don't know why it does that all the time and I can't figure out how to fix it but um yeah so today I am participating in a collaboration it's been so long but I'm so glad that Jackie asked me to participate because gingerbread is one of my favorite things for Christmas and we are hosting together I'm hosting with Jackie from Crafting in Mimi's World Shannon over at Hot Mess Crafting Tasha over at Sunflowers Tasha DIYs and Annie over at Crafting with An Indiana Jones and I'll have all their information along with the link for the playlist in my description box so be sure to check all of their channels out and check out the playlist because I know they're going to have some amazing, amazing gingerbread DIY, so be sure to check them all out. And if you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload because I'm hoping to start uploading more often. Um, I kind of took a little hiatus, but I am back and I'm trying to <laughs> get back in the swing of things. And I'm glad that this is the first video, you know, on my little trip back here um, but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead <clears throat> excuse me I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to paint the rest of these and then I will come back once I'm done painting all of them like I said it only really took one coat and then I just kind of touched up the parts where I might have missed or it was a little bit lighter or the paint kind of got soaked in a little bit more but I just went over it but one coat was good enough and then once I'm done it's done and it's dried I'll go ahead and finish up with that so this is what they look like they're still a little bit wet but I'm gonna let them dry and move on so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this little gingerbread stamp um, that I have I probably got it at a thrift store or something but um, I'm just gonna take this distress distress oxide in probably vintage photo and I'm just gonna uh, stamp out a bunch of them and this is just a shopping bag, a paper bag. You can use craft paper, you can use construction paper, you can do whatever you want. I just figured why not, you know, reuse this bag because it was a really, really thick bag. And I liked how it felt and I thought it would hold up pretty well. So um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out all the little uh, pieces that I stamped out. This one I cut really close and I didn't like the way it looked. So all the, and I noticed it <laughs> right then. I was like, I don't know how I like that, but I was already committed. So I just went ahead and finished that one like that. But I cut all the rest of them with just a little bit of like paper, I guess, <laughs> on the, on the edges. I didn't fussy cut them. I, I kiss cut them. So there was still some of the craft paper around the edge of the stamp, just I just like the way it looked better. This was okay, and I'll probably use that like in a journal or something. But like I said, I cut them just with a little bit of the brown paper bag around the, the stamp there. Then I cut a few of these little pieces out of the bag as well so that I can use that to um, glue it on to the string because I'm going to make a little garland out of it. 
and you'll see how all this kind of comes together at the end when I you know finish up but I'm gonna go ahead and make a little mini garland with this it's just some baker's twine I forgot where I got it from. oh it's for my daughter's birthday she had a banner and this was leftover string from the from the banner but you can use anything you want and I'm just gonna use this so I'm gonna take some of this glue stick and I'm going to take the little pieces that I cut out and I'm going to use that to attach it to the to the string and initially I went horizontally thinking that it would hold you know give it a little bit more support but it wouldn't stick on there so I ended up having to do it vertically and it worked out fine they stayed on and they haven't fallen off yet so I guess it worked out pretty well so I just went ahead and I just took the little piece and I, like I said, just stuck it on there horizontally and it held on perfectly. Now, if you want, you can take another one of the gingerbread pieces and like glue it onto the back of it. And then that'll be definitely better support. I didn't want to do all that. I thought this worked out great. So I'm going to go ahead, finish doing all of those. I'm not going to show you me doing all of them. I'll just show you a couple so you can kind of see you know how it works out there and how I'm doing it but I'm not gonna gonna show you all because I know some people like to see the whole process and some people don't so I'm just kind of giving you some of it so, so you can see how it looks so this is what it looks like when it's all done and I love it I think it's super cute I'm going to save the rest of these and I'll probably use them in a Christmas journal or in another Christmas DIY in the future um, but I did cut a bunch of them. I don't know why, but they're cute. So I have a bunch of them left over. All right. So now my pieces are dry. Now you can either, if you don't have puffy paint and you don't want to make any, um, you can just take some white paint and kind of, you know, paint on the accents. But I'm going to use my puffy paint. And like I said, I ran out and I saw this recipe some time back and it works pretty well. It It dries a little weird and I think um, you can add flour to it and it gives it a little bit of a thicker consistency and a little bit of a puffier consistency but this worked out great for me and like I said I use this glue from the Dollar Tree because it's really really thick or at least the one that I have the ones that I've purchased have been really really thick so I thought that would work better you know for the puffy paint and it did it worked out fine and you just use equal parts of the shaving cream and the glue I just used a whole bottle of glue and then added the shaving cream and just kind of kept adding it until uh, I got the consistency that I wanted but like I said I think if I would have added the flour it would have stuck a little bit better because once it dried it was a little bit flatter than I might have wanted it but it still looked cute and it still looked like puffy paint so definitely a good alternative for you know than going and buying puffy paint or if you run out like I did and I couldn't find any usually I can find it at my Dollar Tree but they only had um, red and green so it worked out fine and of course like I said you can just paint it on and then if you want different colors you can get some you know food coloring and change the color of it or use colored glue and then you have puffy paint in different colors so yeah I'm just gonna show you how I use it on a couple of the pieces again I'm just kind of putting it on there. I couldn't do my little fluff like I usually do on it. So it's okay, but it worked out fine and it still looks cute. So I did just a little bit on each of the pieces. And then if you have these gingerbread pieces, they usually come out during Christmas. You could also make a garland out of that or trace it or do whatever. Um, but again, I had these stamps and I'm like, why not? Why not use them? So I just went ahead and painted one of those little gingerbread pieces in the same color. And I have these little craft sticks that I got from Walmart. I cut them up and I'm just going to make a little like picture frame. And I have this paint sample thingy from like Home Depot or Lowe's or something. And I just thought the color would go with it. So I'm going to go ahead, glue the little gingerbread wood piece on to the paint sample chip thingy <laughs> and um I'm going to glue that on there and then I'm going to make a frame around it with the little craft sticks stir sticks you can use popsicle sticks you can use whatever you want I have this little chalk writer and I'm going to just draw in the 
gingerbread like accents from you know on the gingerbread piece there doesn't ha you don't have to you can leave it blank you don't even have to use a gingerbread you can put make a little frame and just put it on the wall if you have a little picture uh christmas if you go and you have a like christmas um calendar or not even just a christmas one but a calendar you can cut out the little christmas picture you know how usually they have the small pictures in the back you can cut one of those out and put it on there that'll be really cute but yeah so i'm just gonna make the frame out of this and i think i show you all the steps but i'm just glad to be back it's been a while i've been trying to you know get back in the swing of things just a lot of things going on in my personal life uh health things things with my son and Maybe I'll go into detail with it in the future, but right now I can't talk about I just can't bring myself to talk about it. So, um, yeah, maybe in the future I'll do an update video and I will let you guys know, let you guys in. But I was just kind of struggling and a lot with depression and um, just trying to wrap my head around things. And I'm getting back. I'm, I'm, I'm getting back in the swing of things. Been doing a lot of praying, trying to just get myself back on track. So I'm just glad that, you know, Jackie asked me to do this collaboration and be one of the hosts for it. I love Christmas. I love um, gingerbread and being able to do it in July for Christmas in July is awesome. So this is definitely a good way to kind of get myself back in here and show you guys that I'm going to be doing a lot of minis on my channel. That's kind of the direction that I'm going now. So I'll be doing a lot of minis and my DIYs will probably be, you know, centralized around that. Now I got this little dollhouse. Well, it's not a dollhouse. It's like a little storage container from Target a while back. Um, and I just added, I turned it around because it looks like a house to me. And I thought it'd be a cute little house to put this uh, gingerbread like diorama, I guess. And then I just added one of the sticker tile pieces from the Dollar Tree as like the flooring. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add the pieces on here. I know this is kind of a weird angle, but it was too big to put on my desk. So I kind of had to get on the floor and <laughs> do it this way. But I'm just going to put all the pieces in there. And I thought I cut out myself adjusting the, the phone or the camera here. But clearly I did not. Uh -huh. So you get to see me kind of adjust things. But yeah, I'm just going to try and, you know, get all the little pieces in here, fit them in here. Um, so that they're cute. I know I think I like turn the 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 uh, what's it called the table around because I didn't like the way it looked. But again, you can make this into like one room. You can get a just any kind of box. You can use whatever you have. You know, I just this is just stuff that I had here in my stash, stuff that I had on hand. I think the only thing that I went and bought um, specifically for this was the paint because I didn't. I mean the uh, the glue because I didn't have any more or I didn't have any left here. So I, and I'm not, not the glue, the shaving cream. I had the glue, got the shaving cream. So yeah, everything I pretty much had on hand and it, oops, I almost dropped the whole thing there. I just taped that little frame on the wall. You could do whatever you could get a little piece of string, hang it on the back. That'd be cute too. But yeah, I had everything on hand, the dollhouse pieces, you know, I've kind of been collecting for a while. I think I'm trying to get some the tape to put up the garland because I thought I had some right next to me but I didn't so I just used these little sticky tabs that I had and it worked out fine and I'm trying to see which way I want to hang the garland at first I was going to put it right in the front and it looked cute but when you're looking at it like from over here it doesn't look as good so I ended up kind of moving it around and shifting it a couple of times to see where I wanted it and I just I like the way it turned out now I'm, I can probably keep adding to this because you know it's it still needs some work I might add a little window I'm not going to cut the box but maybe add like a little faux window to it or um, you know something like that I do have this little fuzzy rug or this like fuzzy piece of fabric that I might add as a little rug so I'll add little stuff to it and show you along the way but yeah, I just see and I like the way that look it kind of uh, filled in that little space at the top because it was kind of looking bare. Now I'm just adding a few little access 
accessories, if I could say the word. Some of the stuff I got on Amazon and some of the stuff I got from Woodpecker's Crafts. Now, I have all that stuff linked in my description box if you're interested in buying any of them. Uh, Woodpecker's Crafts has some amazing, amazing wood items. Definitely, definitely check them out. I have done a bunch of unboxings for them. I try to use their items as often as possible. I haven't, you know, been showing everything that I've been using, but um, yeah, they have some really, really great stuff. I just recently got a package from them and these are some of the items. This is one of the little bowls that they sent and one of the little books that they sent. Now, of course, you can paint them. They stain really, really well. Um, but yeah, this is how it looks when I have it all set up, all the cute little pieces. And of course, like I said, I'm gonna add some more stuff and that is it so be sure to check out all the other ladies check out the playlist and until next time be blessed and be the reason someone smiles bye guys